Hi there, my name is Dr. Advait Zucker, and I work in the Department of Paleobiology at the National Museum of Natural History. As a vertebrate paleontologist, I use fossils to ask and answer questions about ecology and evolution, and I study animals like elephants and horses and dinosaurs. I'm particularly interested in the evolution of modern-day animals like zebra. To understand the evolution of zebra, though, we have to leave the plains of Africa where they're found today and come all the way back to North America. Most specifically, we have to go to a place in Idaho called Hagerman, where in the 1930s, Smithsonian paleontologists uncovered one of the largest deposits of fossil horses ever found. They found over 100 individuals of a horse called Equus simplicidens. Now, Equus simplicidens is the first species in the genus Equus known from the fossil record. The genus Equus is the genus that includes modern-day domestic horses, zebra, and donkeys. What's very interesting about this horse is that when you look inside its mouth, it's got these enamel loops on the teeth on its lower jaw, which are V-shaped, very, very similar to the enamel loops on the teeth of Gravy's zebra, which are only found in Africa today, and very different from the U-shaped enamel loops found on domesticated horse teeth. What does this mean? To investigate this Further, colleagues of mine looked at the proportions of the skeleton of these Hageman horses and compared them to the skeletons of Gravy's zebra. And we found a remarkable amount of similarity in the proportion of their limbs and in the structure of their skulls. What this suggests is that Gravy's zebra probably came from an ancestor that looked a lot like the Hageman horses. But how is this even possible? These horses are found in North America, but zebra today are found in Africa. Well, about two and a half million years ago, these horses probably left North America and crossed the Bering Land Bridge and dispersed into Asia, where they radiated into a number of different species. And this lineage gave rise to the modern-day Gravy's zebra, which can be found on the plains of Africa. Working at the Smithsonian, I get to study these extremely old fossils, which were found almost a hundred years ago, to learn something new about modern-day species like the zebra. Support from viewers like you helps me conduct this research, and if you'd like to learn more, you can visit us at naturalhistory.si.edu or sign up for our newsletter. Thank you.